Hey everyone, I've been playing Brighter Shores for a little bit now, about 18 hours at this moment, and I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions about like the level progression and losing progress, um, and that's just not true, and I just kind of want to like help dispel some of those arguments here. So here I am right now, I'm, this is zone one, right? There are four zones currently, there's two free-to-play zones, and it sounds like there are uh, zone three and four are pay to play, like a membership, right? Which we won't get into that today. That's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the level progression. So if you look here on the right, so zone one has five levels, right? You have uh, guard, chef, fisherman, forager, and alchemist. You can only do those in zone one, right? You can leave zone one and you can go back to zone one. Like, but this is like, this is aesthetic. You can do these things in zone one, right? You with me? You with me? Um, but in zone two, you have scout, gatherer, woodcutter, and carpentry. And right off the bat, like, yeah, there's some overlap, right? So scout and guard are both combat skills. Very similar. I see, I see some misconception, right? Um, forager and gatherer you're picking stuff up off the ground. Very similar. I get it. I get it. Wait, stay with me. Think of this as forager is, let's just say it's gardening in classic RuneScape, okay? While gatherer is herbalism in classic RuneScape. Very similar. They're, they're similar, but they're different. They're zonal, right? I'm not making an argument one way or another if this is a good system or not. They're the same-ish. They're similar. They're similar. But they're different skills because it's a different area. Now then there's scout and guard. And I hear the biggest argument right now is, yeah, you can, you're level 20 guard right now, but as soon as you go to zone 2, you start off as zero combat. That's not exactly correct. Yes and no right? So let me, let me get into this a little bit deeper, right? Okay. So here are my stats on the right. So I'm 20 combat, right? All of my stats. Okay. So my health is 132. All of my other stats, 9.29% deflected. Those are my base stats. I have no armor on. I don't even have any weapons on. I even took off my potions. Those are my base stats, as of right now, in zone 1, at 20 combat, and 16 scout. Now, let me just, real quick, level up. Okay, so, again, I removed all my weapons, removed all my armor, stats went up. My health is at 134, and my deflection, across the board, is at 9.71. Okay, now I'm in zone 2, right? Nothing has changed. If you look, I'm still... I went up a level, I'm level 21 still, level 16 scout, right? Different attack ability. Uh, my health is 125, and then across the board, my deflects are actually 7.6. Now let me go level up super quick here. Okay, all my weapons are gone, and now all my armor is gone. So my stats went up, uh, health is at 127, and across the board is 8.02. And now we're back at zone one right now. Again, no weapons, no armor. Uh, health is at 134 and across the board is at 9.71. Now, unfortunately, this does prove that the two combat skills, although I think they should be additive, they are different, right? So for zone one, if you have a higher uh, guard skill, you will be a higher defense than you are in zone two, right? I'm not justifying that system. I'm not. What I'm justifying is I feel like most of the power that comes with leveling is in the armor, right? Hear me out. So you have a magical ability to get to your armor bank, right? It's your bank for just your armor, right? So you can auto equip. For zone one. Okay. So we did that. We're massively stronger now, right? Um, let's quickly um deposit all. 
Um, let's auto equip. Let's go back to here. So, nine point seven one across the board. Let's auto equip zone two. Right. We go back to the armor. Our armor does a little bit, so it's not a completely lost. Right. Your armor does less. Um, zone two armor will be less effective in zone one, but it is still armor and it is still doing better than no armor at all. A lot of people don't like that. I'm saying it doesn't matter all that much, right? Because a big part of the armor is, um, it's like imbued with the zone or whatever, right? It's, it's attuned to the zone. So if you have a super high level, like 21 or something, for a given combat skill and you find like like you find this armor right here so this is a rare plate torso right sure you can find this and it, it tells you the stats right but it's it's unattuned you can attune that to zone one or zone two is your pick and switching out armor for zones i don't think is that complicated right you just Deposit all in your backpack, deposit all in your equipped, right? Just auto equip for zone one or for zone two. I'm not justifying the system. It's a little grindy. I'll be honest. It's a little grindy. I wish that wasn't the case. But like, end of the day, I don't think this is deal breaker. Like, yeah, you could really try and max out your zone one combat ability to like 50 or Max, max is like 500 but like you could get up to 50 that's an achievement you'll get better armor drops better armor drops of unattuned armor that you could tune in zone 2 if that's the play style you want to go as or you could start up out at zone 2 with base level 0 just grind up to whatever level you want I don't know I don't know, like, there's, you have options, and yes, I know you're gonna say, well, attuning armor is also based on the level, like, if, if you're level 50 guard, and you get unattuned armor, the level is probably level 40 unattuned, yeah, you will have to grind up to level 40 in scout in order to attune and then wear that armor. It's not a great system. It's not a great system. It's not the worst system. I think I think pretty much people are saying like, oh, once you leave the zone, everything's wiped, everything's over. You keep your coin. You keep your potions. You keep your armor. Your armor still does something, right? Like if I go to my armor here, 9.71 across the board, right? I can auto-equip zone 2 armor in zone 1. You know, it's better. It's not good. It's really, really bad, actually. But, like, it's something. I don't know. I guess that's my takeaway. I don't think it's that bad. I think the only thing that needs to be fixed is these two different combat abilities I would combine. I would make, like, one strength, basically, for old school RuneScape. And one's attack, maybe, you know? But, like, have some sort of, like, additive system that makes your overall combat level. Yeah, I would make that change. But, like, end of the day, that's really the only thing. Like, you can... Well, you could gather stuff in Zone 2, and then you go back to Zone 1, and you forge some other stuff, and then you do some alchemy, and you make a potion. Like, the game is made to, like, you hop between zones, right? You can only fish in zone one, but you can only fish in, like, ponds, you know, or rivers. You know, it's it's aesthetic, I think. And I think it's not too bad. So, I'd say give it a try. But that's just me. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. I know this is a different video than usual, but, you know, tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.